Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. It's a hockey ultimate team showdown, and we are ready to bring the noise. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. There's been a lot of chatter over the last 24 hours on social media about this one. And it is time. We're underway. Start of the game, you want to set the tempo and dictate pace, and now you're killing a penalty. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Here's a shot. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. So he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Oh, that's a smart heads up play as he breaks it up with the poke. Sends it ahead to Dowdy. From the left side, they gain the zone. Takes it to the front. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Great reach with the poke check by Doughty. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Picked away in the neutral zone. The Penguins have possession shorthanded. Here's a short pass to Ajo. Both sides are evened up as the power play has expired. My goodness, what a save by Kosa. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Let's it fly. Denies him on the play. Kosa's going to hang on for a whistle. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win the draw on their own end. Orr's moving the puck through his own zone. And now it's to Nasher. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Moves it around along the half wall. Makes a move in front. And that's broken up. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Great reach with the poke check. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. That's not going to fool him. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Still lots of time left in the period. We're still scoreless. McDavid's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Orr's taking it from his own end. And he takes the feed. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Too many bodies in the way. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes it to the net. How did he stop that one? He's able to make a clean save on that wrister, James. A quick release shot, and he squared to it. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. The Penguins win it. No room. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Through center along the wing. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. From off the wall and onto a stick. Hughes looks around. Taken by Richard. And he keeps that one out. Coaches are always saying you got to give it your all. And this goaltender, well, he's going at it with full force and his full head. This one hits his mask and he gets a jolt. Shot! That goes wide. Grabbed along the board by Ajo. And that 
Cairns off a body in traffic. Moves it to Leeson. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Iserman's gonna play it against the half wall. He scores! Artemi Panarin! I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Penguins take a 1-0 lead here in the late going of period number one. This is a huge goal momentum-wise, isn't it? Well, yeah, James, if you score a goal at the beginning of a period or at the end, it really sets the tone and temperature for your team. And it also puts your opponent back on their heels, and that's exactly what you wanted to happen. But now that the game is wide open, you're heading into intermission. So that's going to give both teams an opportunity to reset. you got to find a way to continue to push in that second period. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. The Penguins take over on possession. Iserman's got the puck. Scores! And they strike Pater once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure, be relentless, and try and get another one. That's an excellent shot, and it does go in, James, but the goaltender trying to make the highlight reel save with his glove hand isn't able to corral it, and it goes in. The Penguins double their lead to 2-0 now as they look to head into the intermission. Well, yeah, and they'll need to keep their foot on the gas pedal when they come out for the second, James, because, man, did they ever get an effective start in the first, putting a ton of shots on net. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Well, a real great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you gotta help battle the net front player. You gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. The Penguins have come to play with some jump in their step tonight. Look at the shots on goal. They've generated an already lead comfortably nearing the end of the first. Hall's got it against the boards. Bumped off the puck. Strong defensive effort. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Moves it quickly over to Hirokoski. Easily turned away with the glove. Again, the denial by the goaltender. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? The Penguins have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities, and as a result, have the lead. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Good stop by Kosa. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store, and we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. sum this one up through the first 20 minutes. The Penguins have a healthy lead after the first period because they were ready to play right from puck drop, James. I mean, they're leading with their stick and they're giving their opponent nowhere to go with the puck, creating a ton of turnovers. There he is with the backhander! Oh, the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Big face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, after that last shift with sustained pressure, you know that the goaltender is fatigued. you got to find ways to get pucks to the net. Jones moves the puck. Slides it diagonally to Bacchus. 
Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. The Penguins have it from their own end. Here's a chance. Way too much congestion blocks that. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Penguins continue to lead big here in this second period. Gretzky's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. The Penguins have it behind the net. And makes the routine save. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Penguins have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. They win the draw and go on the attack. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Penguins played along the boards. Denies them! I really like to save James because he challenges the... Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder! Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hattie. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Penguins have officially entered route country right now, Cheryl. Uh, well, I'll tell you, good defense creates offense, and that's exactly what they've done throughout this game, and they've had a ton of shots on net. Hall's got it in the offensive zone. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. And he stopped that one. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. The Penguins have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. McDavid's won the draw. Denied by the goaltender. to get to the net and of course the motion on the outside which is disrupting the coverage. 
Rogers and opening up the lanes. Officials have got both teams ready and it looks like play is set to resume here. Lemieux won the draw here in the offensive zone. And a solid stop on the play there. Driving right to the front. And he's able to handle that one. Puck scooped up by Lemieux. Locks left safe by Coward. The Penguins have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Lemieux won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And that's hooked away. To the front! Decides to think about it. A chance for the front, and he scores! Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big Possible, but this one has seeing eyes from traffic and finds back of the net. The Penguins continue to show no signs of slowing down here tonight. Well, they keep filling the net, James. They feel it because they've got the puck on their stick. I mean, they've led ozone possession time here, but they're doing something with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter. Along the half wall with the puck. Hammers one! Lugging the puck. Quick pass to Silverberg. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Drives to the paint. Oh, he had the answer on that one. Picked up along the wall by Gretzky. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him in close. Oh, a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grandler. Coaches hate stick infractions. They're real frustrating. You're right there. You're in and around the puck. You go fishing and you wind up in the box. Anaheim's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it. Look for different adjustments to be made. The Penguins win the defensive zone faceoff. Kuzmenko's got the puck along the wing. With possession along the wall. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. And he's ridden off the puck. Directs it on over to Leeson. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Howard's had a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, the collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. Here we go, two on one. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next.
and we are just moments away from the start of the third period. The Penguins win the draw here shorthanded. Takes a shot. Oh, he got a post oh, Well, how about that? A good defense translates to two and even better offense. It's amazing how a PK can deflate or inflate, and that's an inflator. When you get a shorthanded goal, you know that you switch the momentum. You gotta love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck with hand-eye coordination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. The Penguins are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the cast in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Sequence of saves there, and James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Another stop! Oh, he's on fire! Orr's got it in the defensive end. Puck picked up by Silverberg. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Anaheim's got the puck against the wall. Giants plays it against the boards. Here's a rip! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Fires it! Fantastic save! There's another stop! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. The Penguins are on cruise control here in this third period, leading big. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Gretzky. Club save, and the play continues. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Penguins have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. And they'll start with possession. Oh, great save by Coward. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Solani. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Here he is in close. Denies him again. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. The Penguins continue to lead big here in this third period. McDavid's got it, and they'll go on it. He scores! And there's the hat trick three is the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team, but he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. Let's continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in long season. Picked up along the boards by McDavid. He says, let's get physical on that play. Hammers one at the net.
for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal. The Penguins are having themselves a night. They probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. for a whistle. The Penguins offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Leeson. The Penguins have played extremely well within their systems tonight. They've been defensively structured and they've been layered in their own zone and now they're protecting the shadow. Know that their tenders made some saves. They've seen everything, but it's really great when you can get the big fat zero at the end of the game. And there's the hat trick and this place is silent. Well, he's working his chops when he goes on the road, hey James, and he gets his hat. I mean, he's been feeling it. When he's on the road, he's something else. Coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. The Penguins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. And I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always a word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. He was totally locked in on that play. The Penguins have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. The Ducks win the draw. Taken along the wall by Fowler. Anaheim's looking to break out. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Routine save made by Coward. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Offense's own face off. Of Circle pays off again. Right on the doorstep. Cut into the front of the net. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Takes the pass. The Penguins gain possession. And he scores! On today's game, everything shuts down so quickly, ice closes so quickly, and he is left all alone to be able to walk into that clapper, and he tags it right past the goaltender. The Penguins continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. 
for a goaltender to get a read on James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. The Penguins are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. He was a monster out there. He challenged at the top of his crease. You knew that he was playing confident the way he was playing so aggressive. including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck. I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.